Well, it's another beautiful day in South Shields, and it's another van. Look at this. This is the um, Renault Traffic. Bought myself a Renault Traffic. And today I'm just doing some of the electrical work on this. I didn't want to make videos of uh, all of the same stuff, putting the insulation in and stuff like that. There are links here to previous videos which I've done, um, which go over all of this stuff, how to put the ceiling in and all that. This van is a bit different layout to um, the last one, insofar as I'm going to have a fold-out bed here, an L-shaped fold-out bed, and I'll make a video uh, of that when I, when I get to making it. But today's video features the Renogy DC to DC and solar charger. Now, I've got it in here. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to take a look at it, and then I'm going to install it. Okay, so this is it here. Um, as I say, this is the Renogy... Let's see what it says about it here. This is the um, Renogy uh, dual input DC to DC. So it's an onboard battery charger with MPPT solar um, con controller as well. All built in. Looks good. Now, again, it looks fairly simple to set up. We've got a the positive from the um, solar panel goes here. And the positive from the starter battery goes here. Now the negative from the starter battery goes here and then we've got the output which goes to the live of the leisure battery and then obviously the leisure battery is um, is earthed to the chassis and I believe we we'll also have a lead from this negative to the starter battery sorry to the leisure battery now what I also got with this is this uh, remote screen uh, which will tell you exactly how the batteries do and how the solar is doing, how everything's doing. And I'm going to stick this on the wall. Uh, there's a connection lead comes with it, fairly simple. Um, plug it in there, plug it in the back of there. Another couple of things with this, it does need an ignition lead um, because the van does have a smart alternator. So this, there's a port here on the side of it uh, for an ignition wire. And I've just been doing that actually. It was a little bit awkward. It's something that I've not done before. But I'll show you what I did with it. In the fuse box here, if you can see this, it's quite sunny. But in the fuse box, I've got one of these um, piggyback fuse holders. And that's plugged into one of the fuses, which only goes live when you switch the van on. So it's on the ignition set. The, so it's on the ignition circuit sort of thing. Right, so without any further ado, we're going to take this into the van. Uh, I'm going to take the instruction book also, because there was a sequence of wiring this up. So we're going to get it in and see how it looks. Let's get the right spanner for it first. I've already done some work on this battery box. Uh, we have the leisure battery here. This is 110 amp uh, leisure battery. We've got the fuse box on. We've got some breakers on the floor. This one is coming from the solar, and this one is going to the fuse box. We we'll also have a hefty fuse here, um, which is coming from the starter battery to the lead, which goes to the um, Renogy controller. So I'll just sit this here, see if we can see everything. I've also got these leads already um, sorted out. We've got this one from the solar. We've got this one from the starter battery. We've got this one to go to the leisure battery. So look at that. There it is. That one will come out of the other side of the controller and go around to here. Just get that out of the way for now. We've got the negative from the solar. We've got the negative to the chassis and we also have this which will be the lead from the negative here to this and i believe that's it i believe that's it on the wiring so let's get it wired in this also comes with a temperature probe which uh, fits into the side of it also okay so on this negative terminal uh we want this, which is going to the starter battery, sorry, to the leisure battery. And we want this, which is coming from the starter battery. So 
so I'm going to whip both of those on there. I haven't got this wired up to the starter battery as yet. Um, I'm going to do that last. The cables are there and in place, but uh, just not wired up yet. There, that's it. And we will tighten them up. connection there. Yeah, that's all looking good. Okay, so the next thing it says it wants is um, connect a positive uh, power cable between out on the DC charger and the positive terminal of the battery. Now we don't have this negative lead on the battery as yet, so I think I'll put that on now. Okay, so our next is this one, which is the positive terminal which is going to the leisure battery. Now I just want to make sure the positioning on this is correct. That's going to go around that way and it'll come and hit that. So that's okay, we're good. Alright, so this is going on to a positive terminal. of the leisure battery. And that indeed tells us that we have power here. And um, this is for the battery type. And we can change that by pressing this LED, apparently. Ah, th this is the battery type, sorry. Now we'll just set that to the correct battery type see which is which Alrighty, so far so good we've got the negative terminals in we've got positive terminal in and this is uh come to life so that's good now next thing it says to do is to connect the positive power cable sorry no next one connect the positive power cable between the alternator terminal and the DC thing and the pole, uh, positive pole of the starter battery. So that is this one here. And we shall, that wants to come in from the bottom I believe, so this may be a little tricky. Might be best to mount it at this point. So this one's coming up here and going onto there. Okay. And then lastly, we want the one from the solar, which is this one. Now I've got the breaker there uh, switched off at the moment. But this one I'm going to take up and it comes through the top and that is going to the PV terminal in the unit. There it is. A good idea to vent these. I've put some holes in the uh, side of the cabinet just to give that a good um, airflow. And we'll clip all of these cables into place once we know that everything's working properly. So this one, it's going there, there, okay, there. That will be just fine there. We'll clip that up uh, later. And I'm assuming now, if I switch this switch, then this um, solar light should come on. But it doesn't seem to have the error with the solar, I think. It's not earthed yet. So I'm going to whack that on the other side of the battery, and then we'll see what's happening with this. Okay, that's better. Um, I've earthed the solar, uh, neglected to do that. And I've got a little meter here, 
just to show what's happening with the solar. You can see that. But if we earth that and then whack it on there, we're getting 16, nearly 17 volts from the solar. So this is good. And that's it with this, I think. Um, sorry, the other thing to do is to do the alternator um, thing. Now, what we have here is the alternator cable, the um, ignition, live ignition cable. And I believe that goes in the bottom one there. So, that's in there. Right, come out up there. And the other thing we have is the temperature sensor, or the probe. I'll just clip this to the wall somewhere near the battery. BTS, I think that's a battery temperature sensor. There it is. That will also come out of there. Down the bottom. And then the last thing we have is the connection for the uh, control panel, which I'll get now. All right, so this is the lead for the um, screen thing. So I'm going to put that in there. And we'll take that. There's probably more room to take that out the top, I think. A bit of tight, though. So maybe that one will go out the bottom there as well. But that should be fine. Now... Where's the other end of it? I'm going to stick this in the controller. And again, it has come to life. There's quite a bit of setup to do with this, I believe. Um, so I'm going to leave this for now. Um, and I'm going to wire this up to the starter battery. Then the whole unit will be installed. But there is a sequence to set this up, which I'm not sure of. It's in this very small booklet. And I think I'll probably need a magnifying glass to actually uh, see what they're saying about that but that's looking good uh, so far it seems to be saying that there's a uh, 14.1 volts in the battery i think that's what that's saying um but there's various other icons and things on there which i'm really not sure about right now so we'll leave that one until later i'll just unplug it there it is and as i say i'm going to do the fix this up to the alternator and then I believe we're ready to go. Just to show you what we've done under the bonnet here, we've got uh, this lead, which is coming from the positive terminal of the starter battery. And we've got this one, which is coming from the negative lead. We've got a nice big fuse in here, 50 amp fuse. And both of those wires lead through the same uh, grommet as the bonnet release. That's the easiest place to get them through, I found. Uh, there's a bonnet release cable here and just right towards the bulkhead of the van there's a little rubber grommet a couple of holes in it put those wires through and they all seem good so let's just take a look back in here now what we've got is the unit itself is seems to be functioning as it should um, we've got this red light flashing here and it tells us in the book um, somewhere solar charging is red single flashing is float charge so it's float charging the battery right now now I'm going to go around and whack the van on and we should get this indicator come on which will now show us that the um, alternator is also charging the battery right now the van's running but I believe this gives solar priority so if we knock the solar off just with a breaker switch then the alternator light has come on to show that it's now charging from the alternator and if we put the solar back on um, that should start to do its float charge thing again there it is okay so now the leisure battery is being charged from the alternator and from the solar panels through this unit it's very easy to fit by the way Right, so just to run through that again, um, we have the negative coming from the starter battery, going to the negative terminal here, and we have another one, another wire coming out going to the leisure battery. 
from the bottom we have the positive coming out going to the positive of the leisure battery we have the positive from the solar panel going to this top one and we have the positive from the alternator going to the bottom one and we have the ignition switch and the temperature probe and the one for the screen but that all seems to be working fine actually um, obviously the alternator has gone off now because it's given it solar priority um, but on a day where there is no sun etc then that alternator thing would kick in just to test that again right if I, if I break this circuit on the floor here for the solar I switch the solar off then it, the alternator takes over straight away so I'm seeing that's all working good the only thing left to do would be to put these little side panels back on and then tidy up the wiring okay now I've put the uh, controller um, screen for the energy in here this is just in temporarily because I still need to paint this I don't know if you can see that but uh, let's have a look through it it's uh, there's a few things on here this is an H uh, that's for the house battery it tells you the uh, voltage in the house battery and underneath this we've got S and this is the starter battery so it tells us how much is in the starter battery um, there's a little icon here also to show uh, how much the battery is discharged or how full it is we have a alternator icon which will indicate a little arrow when the um, alternator is running and I believe we have it says here MPPT which shows us the solar is working the rest of the controls on this are about the setup really but it it is set up and there's no real need to go into that unless you want to change the battery type or something like that but this is absolutely okay I set the battery type on the unit itself so this seems like a good little unit I also discovered that the Renergy thing once the house battery or leisure battery is fully charged the solar will then divert charge to the starter battery to keep that topped up as well um, so it seems like a very good system as I say the panel fairly straightforward easy to use and the unit itself is fully installed uh, battery box has been tidied up a little bit and everything in there seems to be working so very pleased with this unit so far we'll see how it goes um, it's not been out on a run or anything like that and I haven't really uh, used the battery all that much so we'll see how that works um, over the next couple of weeks so that's it on the Renergy DC to DC charger um, that's how it's installed that's how I've installed it and it all seems to be working well so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video and would like to see more of this type of stuff do give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much